Hello, fire catchers. This is Andrea York with fire Catch the Fire Worship Flags. I'm about 10 minutes later than I said I was going to be, so I am going to wait for just a few minutes. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I got this done today. It's been one of those days. Do you guys ever have one of those days? I had internet problems. I had a lot of <laughs> trouble just trying to do basic tasks. And I am preparing, if you've read the weekly prayer set, per thread, uh, I'm just preparing to go away for family emergency. So I'm trying to get a lot done, but I really, really wanted to get, start the year off right, uh, and I have, hey Rosie, I wanted to have just a few minutes to be able to start with the training videos. I know that if I say that we'll do something and, we, and I don't, it, it really, that really bugs me. So I promised I would try as much as I could. I was talking with Johnny by email this morning and she's a new member today and I said yeah I'm going to get some some tips for starting flagging so if you are new this is the this is the first video uh, it's very very rough uh, but I really just three tips three tips to start flagging if you are very new to flagging and one of the questions that we get is and the question that Johnny asked which is very similar to what most people ask is which flag to choose we at Catch the Fire fl Worship Flags, we primarily have angel wings, that's what we offer. We also have a few veils, uh, but I won't get into that today. But with the f what angel wings, there is multi-layer as well as single layer, and it is really, really cold out right now. So this video will not be long. <laughs> but I need to be outside because I have no space in my house. It is a tiny house. It's not tiny, it's in a tiny house, it's just a very small house. So, <laughs> Back to the video. Three tips. I'll read so three tips. The first tip is which flag to use. Now, as a beginner, I highly recommend just the single layer. Now, I know that the multi-layer flags, with all of their layers and their colors and their mix of colors, is really beautiful. And I, it's probably what attracted you. I know that it's what attracted to me. I wanted to have all of these things happening, but if you're not used to it, it is pretty difficult. So, I have a few flags, these are some of my flags, and um, what I wanted to show you, where's the flag that I'm looking for? So here's a shimmer flag, we can get to have two flags again so tip number one is choose a single tip number one choose a single layer flag get used to that tip number two is probably start with one hand we all have a dominant hand and start with that hand and then uh, work your way to the next hand to the to the U. so for me that means I'm right-handed I am more dominant in my right hand it is harder for me to to figure things out with my left hand. So as you, sorry the connection keeps going out, <laughs> we're just going to make these away. So as you start, just go with one hand, all right? Um, so tip number one, single layer flags. Tip number two, start with one hand. I know that you see people with double, double fisted flags. That looks great. It is great. And you will very quickly very quickly, I promise you, uh, get used to having two flags. So, hello, let me know if you're here. I see that someone else is watching. Uh, hopefully other people. All right, so tip number one, single layer. Tip number two, one hand. Tip number three, now this is the easiest part in terms of the movement is, okay, my, I know my feet is so bad. I think uh, next time I try this, I'm going to go to another area of the, the property or it's still trying to pick up data and Wi-Fi at the same time. Um, but again, uh, but it's getting dark and it is really cool. So, okay, yeah, keep going. <laughs> so tip number one, again, choose a single layer flag. Tip number two, choose... Okay. Thank you. Okay, so, oh, this is comical. Okay, the, the everything that you do, 
every kind of move. I don't care what move it is, more how complicated it looks, everything is a figure eight or an infinity symbol. Okay, so everything and everything is. Here's your bonus one. Uh, second tip or th fourth tip. The bonus it's all in the wrist. So if you were a baton twirler, uh, you will definitely have an advantage. It is not a circ twirly flag. These these flags, the poles are actually in the fabric itself, so you need a wrist action. Okay, so let me go through the tips. There's three tips and a bonus. First tip, single layer flags only for beginners. Second tip, get used to it with one hand. Don't try to double fist it right away. Third tip, it's in the wrist. And fourth, the bonus, is it's all a figure eight. So let me try to demonstrate. Let me move this. All right. <laughs> no, so novice. Okay, so this is a figure eight. This is a figure eight. On the side is a figure eight over my head and down to my side. That's all figure eight. We'll get into more of the moves in the next few weeks. I might actually redo this video again because this is terribly novice. But we're just going to go with it for right now. Bless you guys. Have a really great day and practice just the figure eight uh, and see what you've got going. So thank you so much. Bye Rosie. I'm so glad that you're my biggest fan. Um, and whoever watches this after the fact, thank you. More, more to come. Have a great week. You probably won't hear a lot from me. I will be traveling back east. And, and I would appreciate your prayers for myself and the family as I go back for a funeral. Love you guys. Bye.